Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Pijou Tail Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful crystal and seed beads flower bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you wanna support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are faceted crystals or also called rondelles. They are four millimeters by six millimeters. And here I use two colors of 11 0 seed beads. This is a lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. And here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take half an arm span of thread on my needle and I will start. Okay guys, and now I have a half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up four black beads. Okay, I have my four crystals here and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot, okay? And I'm making my knot by making a loop, pulling and then I will make one more knot. Okay, and pull again. Okay, then what I do in my next step is go here through this rondelle and pull the knot inside it. Okay, like that. Now I want to take one silver bead and go here again in my rondelle. Then one more silver go again here take just one more okay and one more And what I need to take for my next row is silver, red and silver. And I will go here through this rondelle. And you see I want to pop up this bead from this side. You see? Like that. There is a slight bend to this side, okay? Then I'm taking a silver, a red and a silver. And I want to do the same thing. I'm just putting it a little bit under this bead and this will be the front side of my element. Okay, take three, then go here. And the last time pull this like that. You see there is a slight bend to it. Okay. Now I want to exit through one of those silvers and I want to add three more silver beads. And I'm going here through this silver. Again, I want those three beads to be just a little bit under the red one and make it pop up. Okay. 
like that. Then I'm going in the following rondelle and I want to repeat this step, okay? I'm going through this silver one, taking three more silver beads and going just under this red one, like this, okay? And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and I'm going to cut my tail thread here on the back of my work. Okay, and these guys will be the first element of my bracelet. That is why I'm going to attach my clasp to it. Okay, and in order to do this, I will go here in circle. And I want to exit again through this silver bead here. Okay, like that. Now, what I want to do are five beads. Slide those down. Then I'm going to take my clasp, but you see, I'm taking it in this direction because this is the front part of my bracelet my beads are popping up from this side that is why i will take it like that and then i will take five more beads like this and i'm going here in the same place through the same silver bead okay and now guys i have this and i will go around several times reinforcing this joint Okay guys, and you could go several more times around this joint and when you're ready, it's time to make a knot and in order to make a knot, I will go here in my next element and I will choose a place, let's say between those two beads here. Okay, and I'm making a knot by making here a loop and going once, then going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Okay. And then I cut my thread here. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to do the same element one more time and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm making one more element the same way I showed you. Okay, and I'm adding here my last three beads from this element, okay, and I want to make some thread repositioning, okay. I will go here to this bead. Then what I do is that I go through these two side silver beads. Okay. 
okay and my goal is to exit from this bit here and now you will see why I'm doing this okay now what I want to do at this step is connect this element to this one and in order to do this I'm going to take three red beads and I'm going here in this silver bead and I pull then I'm going here to this outside two beads and here if it's too tight you could use pliers if you have okay now I connected those two flowers and I, I want to connect those two as well okay I'm going here through these beads and I want to go through the outside edge of my flower okay and I'm going to make some thread repositioning okay my goal here is to exit from the outside to the center like that you see and here I want to take three seed beads then I go through those beads here like that I have this element the second element attached okay and now I want to make a knot here okay and I'm making a loop I'm going once, I'm going second time through the, the loop I've made and I pull. Then what I do is that I go in my next seed bead like that. Make sure this pops up from this side and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now I'm going to do more and more elements the same way and I will be connecting them and when I have a bracelet that's long enough I will show you how to add the last element and attach the jump ring. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and when I continue beading and adding more and more elements, this is what I have. I just added my eight element. You could add less or more depending on your wrist size. Okay, and now I'm here and what I want to do is reach between those two beads here at this side. And I'm going to take 10 C beads. Okay, I have my 10 here and I will go here between those two silver beads from my other flower. Okay, and if it's difficult to do this, you could pop up this bead a little bit. Okay. Okay, and I have my 10 beads here. And then I'm going to take my jump ring like that. And as I'm exiting here from this bead, I'm going back in circle through the other silver bead. Okay, and pull. You see I'm exiting out of the same place here between those two silvers, okay, like that. And I'm pulling. Then I'm going to reinforce this. Okay, and you could reinforce this several times. And after that, it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. And in order to do this, I want to go through some beads in this direction. 
Okay. And pull. And I want to go here at the back of my bracelet. Choose a place between two beads. Let's say here. And now make a loop. Go once and go second time through the loop I've made. Make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and pull. And then go through the following seed bead and cut your thread. Okay, guys. And now my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my flower rondelle and seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.